Okay, climbing in the driver's seat of this apparatus, we're first gonna take a look at the auxiliary pump controls, which are located to the right of the engineer. You have a throttle control, a primer, as well as a water tank level gauge and a pressure gauge for the auxiliary pump. Overhead, you're gonna have your emergency lighting and scene lighting controls, as well as the HVAC control, defroster fans, and a stereo. As we make our way back down to the dash, you'll see there is standard instrumentation as well as a warning light panel, your air brake control, as well as headlights and windshield wipers. Here is your road to pump lever, as well as the OK to pump light with foot pedals for the horn and siren for the engineer. And moving back to the gauge cluster, you'll see there are 2,718 hours on the motor, as well as 96,288 road miles. In the back of the apparatus, you have two outboard rear-facing SCBA seats with a side-mounted SCBA mount for the engineer. There's a headset intercom system for the whole unit and two forward-facing inboard flip-down seats. Now at the pump panel, first we'll show you the onboard generator. That's currently sitting at 219 hours. As we pull back, you'll see your pressure governor with throttle as well as the water tank level gauge, intake gauge, master pressure gauge with discharge gauges as well, T-handle discharges. You also have your primer as well as your tank to pump and your tank fill. This is a Hale 1250 GPM Q-Flow and it comes equipped with a Foam Pro 2001 with two 20 gallon foam tanks. rear compartment of the body you have two pre-plumbed hydraulic reel lines and mounting and bracketing for auto extrication equipment. This compartment sits behind a 650 gallon water tank. For more information on this unit and Derotic Emergency Equipment and the services we offer, contact us 844-433-7684 or email info at DeroticLLC.com.